The more that I look into some of these old kids shows, the more I realize how much stuff they were getting away with. Yeah, today we're going to be discussing the time Hey Arnold featured a dope fiend. Season 5, Episode 3, Chocolate Boy. Now this episode opens up with Chocolate Boy sitting on the ground, finishing a chocolate bar when we see Wolfgang and Edmund sitting on the side laughing at him. Now off the rip, we see Wolfgang clearly knows Chocolate Boy is addicted to chocolate. So he makes him do these little obnoxious things for Chocolate when Edmund comes up with a plan. This is when Wolfgang tells Chocolate Boy that he has a 10 pound bag of chocolate at home and tells Chocolate Boy that it can all be his, but only if he can go a whole two weeks without any chocolate at all. Now Chocolate Boy shows all the exact signs of a dope fiend and you will see exactly what I mean later on in this episode. So Chocolate Boy is thrown off by this offer, his adrenaline rises and he's overcome with fear because he wants that 10 pound bag of chocolate so bad but he knows chocolate for him it was literally like air to us. He has to have it. So he agrees to the deal and this is when Wolfgang calls Mickey over and assigns him the job of following Chocolate Boy around to make sure he doesn't eat any chocolate over the next two weeks. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I for sure wouldn't want this shady guy following me around. The deal would have been off right there. This is when we see montages of Chocolate Boy getting tempted to eat chocolate, but Mickey will always show up and remind him he's watching. So this is when things get interesting, when Chocolate Boy stops by Arnold's house and tells him he wants to quit chocolate. You want to stop eating chocolate. Yeah, I really do. I need to get off chocolate. No more chocolate. But that's what you do. Eat chocolate. Now notice Chocolate Boy said he wants to quit chocolate, not he wants to stop eating chocolate. Um, when you want to quit something, that's usually something drug addicts say when they want to, um, you know, stop doing something. But Arnold is caught off guard and was like, um, but you're Chocolate Boy. That's like what you do. You eat chocolate. It's literally your name. Chocolate Boy pleads again and says he knows, but he just really wants to quit chocolate for the next two weeks. We are then taken to Arnold talking the situation over with Gerald when Gerald tells Arnold that he pretty much thinks it's a waste of time and that he will never be able to get Chocolate Boy to stop eating chocolate. This is when Stinky says, You can never get Chocolate Boy off chocolate. It'd be easier to push a 2,000 pound boulder up an icy mountain. Bruh. <laughs> but Arnold tells everyone that he will prove them all wrong and get Chocolate Boy to stop eating chocolate for good. So Arnold shows up at Chocolate boy's house and makes him throw away all his hidden chocolate which was a huge amount we then see chocolate boy shaking in class which we all know what that looks very similar to i don't think i even have to say it correct also at this point it had only been 48 hours aka two days since he had chocolate which isn't even a long time in theory but to a addict two days is probably like damn near two months arnold catches up to to chocolate boy and ask him if he's okay when he falls asleep in the hallway so fast forward a few days and we see chocolate boy sitting in front of the school literally eating ants because in his head they look similar to chocolate what the f at this point it had been 10 days since he last had chocolate so he has four more days to go and chocolate boy was actually able to complete the challenge now yes this was good that chocolate boy was able to go two weeks without eating any chocolate but also we have to remember why he went two weeks without chocolate in the first place so this is when we see wolfgang walk up to chocolate boy and he hands him the 10 pound bag of chocolate he had promised him for winning the bet when arnold is completely thrown off and asks what bet because he had no idea they had made a bet wolfgang then says didn't he tell you i bet him if he didn't eat any chocolate for two weeks i'd give him a 10 pound bag <laughs> Arnold is enraged and tells Chocolate Boy he's highly disappointed in him, but Chocolate Boy was smashing the chocolate, not giving a f This is when we see that he had already finished that 10 pound bag of chocolate when Wolfgang walks up to call him pathetic and makes him do more embarrassing things for chocolate. What? Finished already? You're pathetic. Yeah, yeah, they were chocolate, yeah. 
I'll give you more chocolate. But first, you have to do a little dance for us. Now, looking at this scene from an adult's perspective, this is honestly super sad and depressing. <laughs> I mean, just look at their cold-hearted faces as they humiliate Chocolate Boy, constantly presenting him with more chocolate, knowing he would do anything for it. This is some dark stuff, man. I think it was at this moment when Chocolate Boy knew he had to do something about his addiction before it got worse. This is when we see him go back to Arnold's house for more help, but Arnold is just like, nah, bruh, I just helped you out. Now get the f out of my face. Chocolate Boy begs, and we all know Arnold has a good heart, so he agrees to help him one more time. Arnold then comes up with a plan to scare him into not eating chocolate. He shows him pictures of things that can go wrong from eating too much chocolate, but this doesn't work and actually makes him want chocolate even more. So plan A. A fails, time for plan B. Arnold then tells him that he needs to sweat out all the chocolate he has eaten over the years and free from domination over his obsessive fixation, but this doesn't work either. So plan B fails, time for plan C. Arnold offers him a chocolate substitute, which was something called carrot, which was from a tree. Chocolate Boy says it's not bad and that it almost tastes like chocolate, but then we see that he's actually allergic to it. So Arnold offers him a variety of other things, but he doesn't like any of them. That is, until he tries a bowl of radishes. Hmm, these are okay. They're pretty good, but they make me think about chocolate. Arnold then tries to distinguish where his obsession with chocolate started from and this is when Chocolate Boy says he had a nanny who used to give him chocolate all the time. He says he loved his nanny a lot but he came home one day to see her leaving with packed bags. He was stunned when she told him she had to go far away to a foreign land called Delaware. She told him goodbye and left him one more bag of chocolate. Chocolate Boy says after this he just went up to his room and ate chocolate chocolate a lot of chocolate. After hearing this, Arnold figures out that the real reason Chocolate Boy eats all of this chocolate is because he misses his nanny. He had finally figured it out. I can't be happy. You don't need chocolate. I don't need chocolate. You're free. I'm free. I'm free. So the word spreads around that Chocolate Boy was free of his bad habits and everyone is just in total shock. Wolfgang had even offered him more chocolate like a asshole, but he turned it down. Things are looking great when Arnold notices that Chocolate Boy was eating awfully a lot of radishes when he says, How many have you eaten today? Only about two or three hundred. Maybe I should hold on to those for you. No, no, I need these. I gotta go, Arnold. <laughs> Looks like Chocolate Boy just has an addictive personality. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this crazy episode of Hey Arnold down in the comments below. But yeah, man, until next time, I'ma holla at y'all. Peace.